If you are experiencing any kind of personal loss or going through a major life transition, it can be overwhelming. And the thought of being happy again is the farthest thing from your mind. In her book, Lemons into Lemoncello, From Lost to Personal Renaissance with the Zest of Italy, Dr. Raylene Montner talks to us about a shift in your thoughts, how that could be key to recovery and renewal. Dr. Raylene Montner is an author, radio personality, and self-help specialist and joins us now on Connecticut Style. Doctor, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Right Lisa. off the bat, limoncello is better than lemonade, right? I love it. And you know <laughs> that saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade? Well, limoncello has a little bit of a zest, a little bit of a kick, and certainly the sweetness of Italy. Sure. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I, as you mentioned, I grew up in a little Italy here in Connecticut in Fairhaven mm -hmm. with an extended Italian family with Italian relatives all around. And what I observed from them, both their stories and their behaviors and what they did and how they took life as it came, mm -hmm. really impressed me so much so that later on I studied it. I uh, did my research, a cross-cultural study, and went to Italy many, many times. Now, you've also you've mentioned a lot of research about comparing the United States to Italy. What are you finding? Well, what I find is that in Italy, Teresa, there is an acceptance of life, like the ancient Roman mosaics. When you get up close to a mosaic, you see the chips and the nicks and the scratches, sure. very much like what happens to us, the ups and downs in our lives. But then when you step back, you see that beautiful piece of artwork, mm -hmm. and it's rich, and it's deep, and that's exactly how we need to take life. Would you define that as your Italian perspective as you talk about in the book? It absolutely is because even if you're not of Italian background, even if you've had no experience with Italy, people love what they feel when they read about Italy, when they import, when they buy Italian products or when they visit Italy or have Italian friends or neighbors. That's great. Um, and again, let's talk about the title again. It's just, uh, it's just a step up, a step better than lemonade, right? It, abso <laughs> it absolutely is. And what it does is it shows you that, yes, you know, you hold a lemon in your hand and you hold a bottle of limoncello in your hand. They're two different products, but they're both the same. There's a continuity to your life, but you can be richer, uh, more passionate about life than you ever thought possible after loss. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about the book now. I'm going to try my best with the different sections here. First one is Lascia Stade. How'd yeah. I do? You did very well. I love that. I love your <laughs> accent, your pronunciation, Teresa. It was excellent. <laughs> so Lascia Stade means when you're first um, faced with loss, mm -hmm. you have to do nothing but let it be. I remember, you know, part of why I wrote this book was four years ago, I suddenly lost my husband of 32 years. And he was, you know, my whole world. And I called my relatives in Italy, and the first thing they said to me was, Lascia stare. You don't have to do anything right now. Mm -hmm. You don't make any decisions right now. You know, in the Italian perspective, they have a, a saying called il dolce fare niente, the sweetness of doing nothing. Just let yourself be in the initial stages of loss. Okay, next you say pian piano. Pian piano. You need to start making small, very, very small steps to mm -hmm. going forward. So one of the things you can do with the Pian Piano is surround yourself with what Dr. Piero Ferrucci, he's a foremost psychiatrist and, and author in Italy, he says, bellezza, the power of beauty to heal, surrounding yourself with beautiful paintings or a bou bouquet of flowers, small steps, healing steps, surrounding your atmosphere with beauty. It would make a big difference, it that's does, right? absolutely. Next you say, reagire. Reagire is when you begin to react by doing definitive things to start making your life better. One of them, Teresa, in the Italian culture, it's so important to become a regular somewhere, whether it's a coffee espresso bar in the afternoon or someplace you go mm -hmm. where you build community and you start feeling like you belong again to part of society, not just attached to your loss. And uh, lastly, we say andare avanti. Andare avanti. And things you can do to really get your life going again. If you've ever wanted to paint and never have, now is the time. If you've sure. wanted to start a business, now's the time to let your creativita, your creativity, like Leonardo and Michelangelo, let it come through and give your unique contribution to this world. Was this the process that you went through? Absolutely. I followed all of these steps when, mm -hmm. at a time when I didn't know how I would get through it, I yeah. called on my Italian wisdom, what I had learned, what I had observed and studied, and it, it actually came through for me, right. as I hope it will for your viewers. Sure. Uh, you have some upcoming events. Let us know all about them. I do. Well, first of all, I'm launching a brand new advice column, Teresa, in the Italian Tribune, and I'm so excited about that. People can certainly go to my website and send me their questions, RaylenMontner.com. Okay. I also have Ashler Village coming up, 
and I have um, RJ, Julia, RJ right? Julia as well. You can go to my website and see all the events posted there. And where can we find your book? You could find my book on Amazon, on Barnes and Noble, and in independent bookstores, and wherever books are sold. Some great advice. Thank you Dr. so much. Doctor, thank you so much. The name of the book again is Lemons into Limoncello from Lost to Personal Renaissance with the Zest of Italy. I love the title. <laughs> all right, coming up next, Misfit Foodie. Jocelyn Tunney shows you how to start your day with a delicious, nutritious, clean food recipe when style returns. We'll be right back.